Thanks, JC. Thanks, Corey. Wow, Pikmin looks like a lot of fun. Hi, everyone. I'm Kay from Nintendo Treehouse, and I've got my colleagues Chico and Kendra here with me. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge that we are doing this remotely. Uh, so there might be some technical limitations, but we're asking for your patience and your understanding as we work as hard as we can to bring you an amazing stream. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which takes place 100 years before Breath of the Wild and tells the story of the Great Calamity and the events leading up to it, uh, which really can only be told through the one versus 1000 action of a Warriors game. Uh, we'll start off with a first look at Urbosa. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh, Chico, are you ready? Yes, I am. So <laughs> let's get started. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I know. Uh, I'm uh, playing as Urbosa right now, as you can see. And I'm actually inside the uh, Derrida town right now. And then it is a uh, high warriors game, so you will be using X and Y button to do a uh, weak and strong attack, and then also uh, A. Oh wait, uh, Eagle Mask, but wait, Mask is coming. Uh, right now, uh, <laughs> the Diego Town is under attack by Iga Crown, but I don't want to talk about why they are here. Uh, but the objective is I have to actually defeat all three Iga Blade Masters. So to do that, in addition to the usual Hyrule Warriors action, I have to use uh, room to counterattack. And I can use, uh, I just use the stasis now, as you can tell. But uh, each character can use all four uh, different rooms in different occasions. So uh, I need to focus on attacking him right now. So I'm going to let Kay and Kindra talk about what's unique about Urboza. Great, thank you so much, Chico. Yeah, Urbosa's gameplay is really fun and exciting. And uh, as you can see, it's focused on her ability to use an attack with lightning. Um, she has a unique ability to charge up lightning, uh, which is represented by the gauge at the top of the screen. Um, and yep, she's charging it right there. And once it's charged up, she can actually uh, use the lightning in addition to oh. her strong attacks to kind of strengthen those attacks and do some really character specific stuff with it. Um, she also uses lightning in her uh, weak point counters and in her special attacks. Um, and if, if Chico can get the timing right, after some of these big attacks where there's still some electricity lingering in the air, nice. she can... Um, charge up her electricity super quick, um, which takes a lot of skill yes. and a lot of timing, but it's uh, <laughs> very satisfying when you can pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm running and to, the town. And I just wanted to add too, um, aside from the gameplay that you're seeing, well, first of all, Oh, wait, no, oh my I'm gosh. interrupting myself, because there's a Korok. There it is. It's and so cute. So clearly Koroks <laughs> no! are in the stages that you can find. Ah! Um, but this is the first time that people get to play as Urboso, which is already super awesome. And this area probably looks pretty familiar to some Breath of the Wild fans. Yeah. Um, and it's cool to see these places. So great. Mm -hmm. Pre-Calamity. Um, but what I did want to say is fans can look forward to um, getting more backstory on these characters as well. Um, you really get a good look at Urbosa's relationship to Zelda and also more information about Urbosa's relationship to Zelda's late mother. So um, if you're like me and you love to get to know the characters and get to know them in ways that you didn't get to in Breath of the Wild, this game is your opportunity to do that. That's right. It's it's really there's a lot to unpack in here and a lot to see and it's very thrilling for fans of Breath of the Wild to to be able to take a look a more in-depth look at this time in the uh, in the story. All right, and now we're taking a look at uh, Zelda's gameplay, which is also a first look, very exciting. Um, as you can see, she uses the runes as her main attacks, uh, in addition to being able to 
use them uh, just like everyone else. And she can uh, create different combinations of runes to take out huge swarms of enemies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In a very unique way. It's <laughs> it's so cool to see Chico Zelda fashion. being able to take out these guys. Yeah, and for me, anytime Zelda gets to, you get to play as Zelda and annihilate enemies as Zelda, it's pretty much a win for me because Zelda in a Zelda game. Yeah. Well, and she's really she's fun to play as in this one. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. I just want to go back to Zelda because she is my favorite. She's I, great. I know Zelda is great, but yeah. Okay, Herbos so I have to great, chase after. <laughs> yes. <definitely. laughs> I have to chase after the Iga from people, so I'm gonna go after that to the location and fall to go. There looks like there's a lot of people here. And for people who are new to the Warriors series, um, as you can see, there are prompts on the screen that help guide you through the process of the gameplay. Um, and the action, um, but you also can turn those off if you want to. So uh, I'm at this location and it looks like my um, objective is to defeat the enemies with loud attack. So I think I need to do... Oh, I can't use it right now, but I will wait till my... <laughs> My room fills up first, but make some noise, Chico. Okay, so I'm going to... Do yeah, it. Yeah, do that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> These guys are loud. This guy's so really getting in your yeah. way. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, when you use the Sheikah rooms, there is a little bit of a wait time for it to charge back up before you can use it again, um, which is very similar to how it worked in Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that was that was a gorgeous takeout right there. Yeah. And well, the the reason so for using these loud attacks was to call forth a certain familiar uh, monster, oh. and there he is. Oh man, oh. Look sure how, lady, I think he's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's too scary, and he's coming after me. So I, I don't think I want to do this. Bye bye. <laughs> now let's go ahead and like. That's it. Uh, let's no, escape no, no. <laughs> to the main menu while we can. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go back to uh, the world map with, and show some of the uh, gameplay uh, between battles, um, leveling up characters, strengthening weapons, and unlocking things. Uh, there it is. Very familiar map of Hyrule. Chico, do you want to tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, so uh, if you ever play, you know, like always, you know, Hyrule Warriors game or maybe different uh, Warriors game, you might be familiar with how the menu looked like. You will go from chapter one to three type thing. But this one, you actually uh, go through different chapters and uh, locations using the uh, map of Hyrule from the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And uh, when I first saw this, I was act literally screaming because it was so gorgeous and I just loved it. And uh, <laughs> because it's a higher warrior game, uh, when you're playing the stages, you collect a lot of different types of materials. So do, using those materials, you can uh, unlock different locations on the map, like the stables, uh, other training grounds, and, uh, and even like, you know, different dishes uh, you can cook type thing. So one of the things I wanted to show is actually here, uh, Blacksmith. So it is a High Warriors game, so you will be collecting a lot of different weapons while you are in the stage. Uh, not like Breath of the Wild, you don't, uh, the weapons do not break uh, during the stage, but you can use these uh, weapons you collected to strengthen your uh, primary use weapon. So. You know, right now I'm using uh, this uh, sword, but there's other different type of weapons I can get and different, you know, way to use it. 
So I want to use uh, my sledgehammer, iron sledgehammer, and, and uh, fuse them with all the materials I got so far. With the level and one I think soup I'm... ladle that you will not neglect. <laughs> 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 Don't you dare. <laughs> okay. So I, mean, yeah. okay. <laughs> I was worried. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. <laughs> Is it okay? It's okay? No, use it. Use okay. it. So, <laughs> yes, it's okay. you can use up to five different weapons and then you can uh, strengthen. Uh, you, of course, have to use the rupees, so make sure you collect the rupees when you are in the stage two. And now I have my uh, sledgehammer leveled up to five, so I can use that in the next battle if I want to. Um, another thing is the materials you collected, you can make the dish. So, let's see, this one is ready. So, spur fish dish. And you need the materials five fish. So, I have the trout. So, now I love that dish. So, I can earn the recipe for chili fish skewer. Right. And the song. recipe can be used to uh, give your characters a little bit of a buff before you go into battle. Um, and there are a bunch mm -hmm. of different types that have different effects. So, it's pretty fun to collect them and see what they do. Yep, they and, also uh, have... By defeating um, the... oh, what? <laughs> yeah, so by defeating monsters and getting those materials, uh, you can also turn them into these other uh, quests, which you can use to unlock uh, bonus combos or extra health or uh, other such things. Um, but the thing I really like about these is that they have little stories um, that go along with them. Um, little glimpses into the characters' lives between battles during this war. Um, the one that we just did, for example, is about a, a young child in Hateno village who wants to build a monster dummy so that they can practice uh, using a two-handed sword. And so Link actually brings the materials to make the dummy, creates this dummy, helps them build it, and then they train together. And that's how Link is able to come up with an extra uh, move for his two-handed sword. Um, and I love it because Link's from Hateno Village. Uh, so it's a very cute glimpse into his life. Yeah, the world building so, is really uh, excellent in this game. Yeah, we just uh, strengthened this two-handed, I mean, Sledgehammer is basically a two-handed sword type. So uh, I'm going into the training mission where I can actually use this Sledgehammer to showcase how the two-handed sword or two-handed weapon will work in this game. So I changed my weapon, and I guess you I can, can change my tire. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can uh, unlock cool. different pieces of armor as you progress through the game, and you can uh, equip or I guess unequip them uh, as <laughs> and dress him up however you want. They um, look nice. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is uh, okay. and this, also uh, training attire. <laughs> <laughs> And we also, this is the chili fish skewer we just got from the recipe location, so I can use that. Right, and every character will react differently to the uh, dishes that you cook for them. Um, and some characters even have favorite dishes, um, and they'll say something different when you give them their favorite dish. So it's a lot of fun to try out a bunch of different recipes and see uh, which your characters prefer. Yeah, and if you watch the TGS uh, live stream, you might have seen the uh, cutscene where it's showing the tower actually raising from the ground. And that tower is actually going to be a base for Link uh, whenever he goes to the next mission. So I think you just saw him kind of like warping from the tower to that new location uh, where I'm going to be showcasing the 200 sword training mission right um without so yeah it's, it is a training <laughs> mission without <laughs> hey don't jump <judge. laughs> i mean oh, there's no the judgment it's sort of a lot of if work. anything i just feel <laughs> bad for link <laughs> no you know he, he I guess works there's up less quite fabric a sweat to get in the way while he's <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, this is a training level, so you're fighting against a lot of Hyrulean soldiers um, and using the two-handed sword, uh, which, uh, you know, aesthetically does look a lot like uh, how it was used in Breath of the Wild. Um, 
In this game, it's it's slower but more powerful than the one-handed sword. Um, but the uh, fun fun thing about it is that he can <laughs> he can uh, use the unique action to strengthen his strong attacks. Um, in exchange, he takes a little bit of temporary damage. I did. Um, like that. And uh, in order to heal that temporary damage, you can press X to uh, consume a meal in the middle of battle. <laughs> and, I, um, I love the animation yeah, for him eating. Yeah, let's yeah I love Chico. the animation for him eating. Let's, let's yeah, get near if some she'll enemies. Do it for oh, us. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like focusing oh, on no, Get, no, get no, near no, some no. enemies. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> okay, so, but one of those I animations eat. is highly aggressive. And if Chico doesn't hear some enemies, then we will see what happens. And hopefully <laughs> we'll get an opportunity to show you that because I love it. Nom nom nom. Yeah! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. there it is. Okay. Aggressive food eating I love with it. shockwave blast, I... sending the soldiers flying. I love that they included that in, in this game as part of the actual uh, fighting style for the two-handed sword. I think it's a great homage to Breath of the Wild and people who played it like I did, um, which is to say having a uh, stockpile of apples or something in <laughs> my inventory so I could chow down when I'm being blown back by a strong attack that did lots of damage. <laughs> And aggressively eat your apples and send those soldiers. Aggressively flying. eat your apples. It's the only way to eat apples in this game. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, burn, all right. How uh, many apples, chaos do we have? Actually, get the grilled apples too. Uh, oh yeah. So I have to kill right. under seven more. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, we're more no, than no. halfway. I'd also like to point out that this location is very familiar. Um, it appeared as ruins in Breath of the Wild, but now, before the Calamity, it's in its heyday. <laughs> and uh, it's very cool to see what it looked like when it, before it got destroyed. Yeah, and nice Chico, maybe Chico. you can show us um, some light, lightning rod action. What? Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, we did get to see the ice rod before. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> Four we can do it. So, as you can see, with, she's timing her attacks for when that weak point gauge comes out. Um, the big strategy against these stronger enemies is to uh, cut down that weak point gauge and create an opening so you can do a counter attack, which can be very powerful. Nice one. A little bit more. <laughs> I love the two-handed sword so much. I think it's my favorite. It's so satisfying, you know, to just slam through all of these enemies, you know, these thousands and thousands of enemies. And also to like take a little break to have a snack here and then. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. Oh, this is my favorite one. I'm hoping Look we that. can. Uh, I know your favorite show some, is the. Show some flurry rush too. <laughs> oh, of course. I'm trying. Yeah. I suck at this thing. <laughs> oh, you what? don't. No, okay. you don't. You're doing great. You're almost there. Yeah. You need to find another one of those captains. Wow, he's a yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's Daruk. He's my favorite. <laughs> he's, cool. he's very heavy moving character too. Oh my god! Yeah, do do that. he moves surprisingly quickly for someone of his size, though I have to say. Yeah. You can do it, Chico. I believe in you. Keep your own size! I mean, like, he's like two times oh bigger than goodness. me. Oh my gosh. That looks like a little bit of rough play for training. 
<laughs> they take their training very seriously. <laughs> nice work. Take nice that, work. Wow. Man, you made very quick you work of your right job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, let's cut away from oh. this for a second because we have one other thing we'd like to show you. Uh, Chico's got to set it up though. I I I love Daruk. He's so great. He's such a well, and it's really fun character. Yeah, and it's really it's cool to see all the various characters you know that we know and love from Breath of the Wild, but seeing them in this different setting and seeing all of their special moves and how those differ. I do I do really like seeing that, and I'm excited for what we're about to show you as well you the viewers <laughs> yeah it's it's great it's it's an amazing thing that they've done with this game to uh, bring us into this era you know pre-calamity and show us all these characters and show us the interest kisses of how they interact and how they uh perform in battle um it's stuff that that i think personally as a fan of breath of the wild i wished for so hard was the the mm -hmm. chance to be able to to see these guys in their prime so it's it's a lot of fun yeah and and not to you... not to bring the soup ladle up too much but i do want to say <laughs> i love that they included that they included the soup ladle you know that they're they're bringing it back and we see those same touches from breath of the wild in this game and chico mentioned that the weapons aren't breakable so you really could you know, equip that soup ladle. If you wanted a serious challenge, you could fight with the soup ladle. Serious. You could challenge. You know, use yes. weapons to make your own adventure. Soup ladle stronger. Yeah. <laughs> I I love it. I so, love that when you use the soup ladle, you got the pot lid as a shield too. All right. So totally. we're looking at Impa now. Yeah. Ah! So what I want to show is in the distance. But I need to take care of these guys first because these guys just in nice. my way. <laughs> okay. ah! So obviously this is a new um, depiction of Impa um, that we're seeing here. But Chico is about ah! to show us just what Impa ah! is capable of in the activated. gameplay. <laughs> I love her. I, I love I Impa so much. I think she's so much fun to play. She's so quick and she has these different uh, jutsu yeah. attacks that she uses, like the summoning of the frog <laughs> and the, I the creation I of the I killed them. Let's go. You did. Let's that go. was an impressive <laughs> use of the electric rod, I have to say. And here we have a Hinox. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, Impa's gameplay, being able to absorb those those symbols to create the clones yeah. and then strengthen the strong attack when she has all of her clones out is, uh, it's really oh, oh. fun. It takes a lot of on. strategy and timing. <laughs> nice. And you can see her, uh, her Sheikah rune usage does differ from the other characters we've looked at today too. Okay. Oh. You can do it. I am ready. So we discussed earlier the uh, usage of runes in order to create openings to counter uh, strong enemies. Um, and it's even more important that you do that when fighting these big uh, monsters too, because uh, if you get the timing right on these, oh, just like that. You can create like these that. great dramatic uh, openings for yourself. And it really is vital that you get these weak point smashes in because they do so much damage. And it can really make it easy to, uh, or easier, I should say, to take these guys out. To take out the four Heons that was just having a nap, minding his own business. <laughs> I don't know about thing. that. <laughs> well, I mean, I would be grumpy too if I got woken up like that. That's fair. <laughs> nice work, Chico. She's making short work of this guy. She really is. I love that flying squirrel move. <laughs> 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 the maniacal laughter, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys nice. 
Queen. All right, I think that's all, right, all the time that's... we have left for today. Let's oh. stop uh, beating up on this poor Hinox and let him go back to his nap. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, this was Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, which releases Friday, November 20th. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. <laughs> and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.